Testing, testing. Hey guys, Timmy, welcome back to another video. It's been a little long, but I am back now. My hair is fucking mental. Look at that. All right, so today's video, we're gonna do a weekly fragrance rotation video. This is gonna be from April 8th, Monday, April 8th, till Sunday, April 14th, okay? So starting off the week, I wore this fragrance right here. This one is called Aqua Di Gio Profumo. Now this one I've been wearing simply because it's easy to wear in the office. I love wearing it in the office because people do enjoy this one off me and that makes me feel safe in a way. I mean, when working at a school, the school environment is kind of like a place where you don't really want to offend anyone. You don't want to drive the student away. You don't want to annoy the teacher. So wearing a safe scent for work like Aqua Di Profumo is great. Now, my personal feeling for this fragrance is not, you know, I don't really care much for it. For me, it just has a lot of utility. I know I can use it in places where I normally wouldn't want to wear strong fragrances, but in terms of personal love, this one is just a meh for me. I find a DNA a little bit too popular, like the original one. I smell the original one the most anywhere I go in Thailand, here in Las Vegas, at all the casinos. People just seem to really, really love Aqua Di Joe. And for the right reason, it does smell really good, but it is a little bit too popular for me to really enjoy it fully. But this does have utility, I'm not gonna lie, I wear this one a lot at the office. Moving on, we have Tuesday, and on Tuesday I was feeling an Aventus kick, but I didn't wear Aventus, I wore Pineapple Vintage Vanilla Intense. Now this one is my favorite rendition of Aventus. This is a vanilla heavy Aventus or a Gourmandis Aventus, if you will. It just smells really good, like decadent Gourmand Aventus. Is a it's that Aventus was just a very, very heavy dose of vanilla. And if you know me, if you know this channel, I love vanilla, I love Gourmandis fragrances. So this one fits super, super well for me, especially when Aventus, which I do have right here, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. Aventus for me is very polarizing. It gets me uh, just about as many hate as it does love. Sometimes it just reeks off my skin, sometimes it works off my skin. So yeah, Aventus itself is just a little bit more daring and I just don't wear it that often. But with this one, this one is not daring at all. It fits my skin perfectly. It always smells the same off my skin and it always works well. So I love Vanilla Intense so much. Probably my favorite from Perfumes Vintage. All the other ones from Perfumes Vintage I don't really care so much about, so there you go. This one's my favorite from the brand, and I highly recommend you check this one out if you like Gourmand and you like Aventus. Moving on, we have day three, which is Wednesday. This one is Allure Home Sport O Extreme. My favorite, my favorite fragrance of all time, my favorite fragrance when it comes to designer. This one just smells really good. It's my go-to, it's my signature scent. It's the fragrance that kind of speaks to me the most as a wearer and a collector. This one is just, uh, it's just so lovely. It's just tonka bean and mint. It just smells so good. It just smells so, so gorgeous. Oh, I'm gonna spray it right now, actually. Oh, man. This one's hard to beat, man. I just don't know what fragrance actually beats this one. God, it just smells so good. I've not run across anyone in the world that disliked this fragrance off me. In the air, it just smells 100% mass appealing in a slightly bit of a unique way. I haven't found a fragrance that smells exactly like a Lure Sport O Extreme yet, so there's that. It's just a really nice mass appealer, one that I'll have in my collection for the longest time ever. I'm never gonna throw this one away. I'm just gonna keep repurchasing it until the end of time or until they, you know, stop making it. So yeah, Lure Sport O Extreme, if you didn't know, that one is my favorite. Go check it out if you haven't yet. It is getting hot. <laughs> it's kind of hot in here right now. Vegas is getting really, really hot. All right, now Thursday, day four, I wore La Nuit de Lome. Now this one is a 2011 batch. Gosh, I decided to bust out La Nuit de Lome because I haven't worn it in a while. I smelled it, I grabbed it off the shelf and I smelled it and I was like, wow, man, this just smells legendary. Like it smells just like a fragrance that's deserving of that title. I mean, this, this is probably one of the most infamous fragrance in the fragrance community besides Aqua Di Gio itself and One Million. This was probably one of the most popular fragrance back in the day when it was still really, really good. I can't really speak for a new formulation. I've yet to try that out yet. I just haven't had time to do it yet. I, I will soon, guys, I promise. I will check out the new batch and compare it to the old one. I do have a 2009 upstairs and I have a 2011, I have a 2014. So yeah, I'll compare the 2019 batch to all those batch that I own later on in, you know, in the future, I guess, in some future video. But yeah, for right now, La Nuit de Lomme, it still smells really, really good. Well, of course, mine is like older one, 2011. It just smells so gorgeous. It reminds me totally of why this fragrance is so deserving of like the legendary title, you know? God, it's just sexy. It's sexy, it's gorgeous. The cardamom is so delicious, so alluring, it's amazing. I love this fragrance so much. Every time I smell it, it's just, oh man, just take me. If this fragrance can have sex with me, it'll probably just have sex with me. 
<laughs> All right, next we have Friday and Friday. I wore the daring fragrance for my skin. I wore Aventus, Creed's Aventus. And you know, oh, if you guys are wondering where the cap went, I, I broke it. I dropped it, it landed on the cap, shattered the cap. Well, it didn't shatter the cap, but it broke like a piece of plastic off the cap, enough to where it wouldn't like close tightly anymore. So there's that, my Aventus, uh, I, I dropped my Aventus. <laughs> but this one, the batch is 15X01 for those who care. This is a very smoky batch of Aventus. Like I, when I say smoky, I mean really, really smoky. I would say in the 80, 20% range, 20% being the fruity pineapple and the 80% being like the birch, the smoke, the hardcore notes that's in this fragrance. So it is very polarizing. It's not the most mass appealing batch of Aventus out there. The newer batches are much more pineapple-y, much more fruity than this one. I think they try to tone down the birchiness, tone down the smokiness over time because they find out that people just like the fruitier batch more, I guess. But besides that fact, I still love my batch of Aventus. It still smells really good. It smells extremely manly because of the smoke, because of the birch. It just smells uber, uber manly. But one thing is it never really works like 100% off my skin. Sometimes it works wonders, sometimes it just doesn't work at all. And sometimes it reeks, sometimes it doesn't. It just really depends. Like it's just my luck for the day. Sometimes my skin reacts to it very differently. I don't know why. Um, I got compliments from this. I got a massive compliment from this and I got massive negative uh, feedback from this as well. So I do wear this very minimally now, but I do still really, really love the smell. And for those of you guys who still wear Aventus, you guys know how awesome this fragrance is. It's a fragrance that will stand the test of time, really. There's no, no, there's no fragrance that can dethrone Aventus just yet, in my personal opinion, in terms of just groundbreaking new DNA, you know what I mean? Like, there's not a lot of new DNA fragrance out there now in the market, especially in the past few years. 2017, 2018, 2019 has been very uh, mundane, I guess, when it comes to fragrance releases. I think that's why I've been kind of like down lately in the fragrance world, because I don't really care about a lot of the new releases. It's a, there's not a lot of new DNAs and yeah, it's just not all that fun right now in the fragrance world, I guess. But yeah, Aventus, one of the most amazing release of its time and it's still one of the most groundbreaking DNA ever released. And also by far still one of my most favorite fragrance of all time. All right, moving on to Saturday. And Saturday I wore Prada Lum. Really, really good office scent, spring scent, anytime scent. Really, you can wear this indoors in any season at all and it'll smell really, really good. Again, like Allure of Sport O Extreme, I've yet to find one person in my circle that dislike Prada Lum. It just smells extremely pleasant. Like it's just clean, pleasant, and that's what Prada does best. It's clean, pleasant office fragrance. It just smells luxurious. It smells like Prada. Elegant, clean, dressy, office. Ugh, it's just really, really good scent. I do have the absolute version, which I really, really love. I think I enjoy the absolute version a little bit more than the original version, but my absolute version right now is with Ashton. He's still borrowing it. He hasn't sent it back to me yet, so I've been wearing this one a lot more, and it's just it's still really good. It's still really, really good. After a couple years of it being released, I still feel like it's definitely in the top three best office scent of all time, still to this day. So nothing is gonna dethrone this anytime soon because it just smells solid. It's just a solid fragrance with a solid performance and solid compliment factor. All right, on to Sunday. And Sunday, I was in the office alone and I decided that since I was gonna be in the office alone working, editing videos, I decided to wear something just extremely, extremely out of order, extremely daring. This one is called Oud Satin Mood by Maison Francis Kirk John. And uh, I love this fragrance so much, but for anyone that knows this fragrance in any regards at all, know that this one is like nuclear in power. One spray is definitely enough. Actually, I wish it had a half a spray version. I wish the sprayer was smaller because it projects literally like a beast. It's such a strong fragrance. I've once gotten compliments off this fragrance from one swipe on a dabber. You know those little dabber samples that comes with a little stick? I swipe one on my finger and um, I've gotten a compliments just from that alone. It's insanely strong projection wise. The smell itself on this one is gorgeous though. If you like rose fragrance, if you like candy like rose fragrance, this just smells amazing. One of the best rose fragrance out there in the niche world. You guys definitely need to try this out if you're into rose in any given form at all. It smells extremely good. Just be warned, it's a very heavy fragrance, like I said, so wear it only in the winter time or the very cold fall time. You live in a place where fall is really cold for you, but never in the summertime. I'm just an idiot. I wore it in the summertime because I was gonna be in the office alone. I, I, I was missing it. I miss wearing this fragrance. Since I moved to Nevada, since I moved to Las Vegas, it's just been so hot that I could never find a time to wear this. So I decided, oh, fuck it, you know, I'm gonna be in the office alone anyway. I'll wear a fragrance that I really love, Oud Satin Mood. Smells really good. If you like rose fragrance, again, or if you like Beast fragrance, 
definitely check that one out. It is amazing. All right, guys, that's it for this video today. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned next week for weekly rotations and stay tuned tomorrow for another video. Yes, tomorrow, I promise. I promise daily upload is coming back, all right? I have plans to film two, three more videos tonight just to bang out the week's video. And yes, tomorrow for sure, another video. And hopefully I can get the ball rolling on the daily uploads again. And with that said, guys, I'll see you guys next time with another one. Peace out and bye.